It is said that only when the land is truly threatened shall it find its own king. Merlin believes this Arthur to be the long-lost son of a <clears throat> an indiscretion between Uther Pendragon and Lady Igraine, the wife of Gorwas, Duke of Cornwall. In truth, his skill with the sword certainly echoes that of the noble Uther, and with Sir Bedivere teaching him the ways of a knight and the strategies of battle, he will make a fine leader. But to business, sire, Arthur has decided to erect a castle near the River Cam, on the edge of the Vale of Avalon. This place is to be called Camelot, and will be a beacon to all brave men still standing to join our cause. No noble man shall be sent to a battlefield unless he has a good woman to come home to. And no good woman should send her man to the battlefield without letting him know what he's fighting for. <laughs> Leo de Grants, monarch of Caerleon, has agreed to a marriage between his youngest daughter, Guinevere, and our king. She is no south backside, so I'm told. But listen up, boyo. The Saxons threaten our every step. And we must finish this castle before the good lady gets here. <laughs>